So you can think of Bitcoin like cash. So if I have 100 Bitcoin, they're all on a Bitcoin address, and that Bitcoin address has a corresponding private key. If I have that private key, I can spend that $100. But that is a lot of power to put in just one little string of letters and numbers, that if I lose, that if I have stolen from me, hacked, all the money associated with it is gone. But how do we increase security there? Let's say I have a balance of $10,000. Instead of having one single key that controls that $10,000, what I do is that I create a multi-sig address. And that's an address that say has three keys. And I set a rule that says you need at least two of those keys to turn in order to move any of that $10,000. Now, I don't keep these three keys together because if I did, it might as well just have one key. So what do I do? I keep one key for myself in my wallet, in my cell phone, and I have it with me at all times. The second key I put in a safety deposit box or somewhere else that's safe that I use as sort of a backup recovery key. In case I lose something, I can use that key. And the third key I give to a multi-sig provider. Let's say I go to the store now and I want to buy a cup of coffee. I go to the cash register and I turn my one key that I have on my mobile phone. So that's one out of three keys. At that point then, a message is sent to the service provider that looks the transaction and verifies that my phone has not been stolen. It looks like I put in my password. It's happening near my home. It comports a lot of the same sort of fraud prevention rules that a credit card provider might do. They look at the transaction and if it looks legit and if I had signed it, they will sign as well. So that's two out of three signatures. The transaction goes through and I have my coffee. Now notice what's interesting about this is that if I was to lose my phone, I could always recover my money because I've got a key saved, uh, somewhere saved like a safety deposit box, and I've got the key that my service provider has. That's two out of three. I don't lose the money. With this system that we have set up, you get all the benefits of the fraud protection and, the, and all the services that you would get from a credit card company that monitors your transactions, but they never hold your funds. They have one out of three keys. They cannot move your money or prevent you from moving your money, which sometimes is even more important, with just one key. With multi-sig, there is simply an amount of money to which folks have divided control over the amount. And really, no one of them has custody, not even joint custody, over the account.